Um, my name is Sarah Marcus. I'm the author of the book Girls to the Front, the true story of the riot girl. And I'm at Temple today to talk about the book. Um, but moreover, I'm actually here to talk about connections that I see between Riot Girl and Occupy Wall Street. Because in both cases, we have, in lieu of a set of specific policy demands, we have a call of the imagination. Riot Girl is, it's an imperative, it's a call to arms. Hey girl, riot. Occupy Wall Street is another imperative. Hey you, hey us, Occupy. Occupy Wall Street, what does it do when the substance of that demand is directed outward? It's, you know, riot girl was, hey you, girl, riot. This is like, hey, we're gonna occupy them. And that's why the addition of the 99% meme feels really promising to me. I think it's a great message. I was at the march yesterday in New York with the unions and the teachers and the writers and the unemployed. And it was thrilling and it was huge. Betsy Reedwood, a wonderful column in The Nation, um, sort of speaking to people who say, this isn't how you organize, this isn't how you build power. You need to have a constituency, you need to have accountability with your constituents, you need to have you know, democratically determined demands and know who has the power to give you those demands. And, and that's how I was trained as an organizer. And what Betsy Reed did was she was like, you know, all those organizations that are doing that orthodox community organizing work had a huge march on May 12th and they had a multi-point plan of how the city should be doing its budget differently. It got no press. The city paid no attention. But now all these organizations, having done the organizing, having built the constituencies, are able to join in with this movement that's getting a lot of attention. Um, so I'm really interested in the ca in the capacity of the Occupy idea to really ignite people's hopes and imaginations mm -hmm. and draw us out into the public square because there's been way too little politics in the public square in um, in recent years mm -hmm. and that to me strikes me as super optimistic and I'm excited to see where it goes.